Now I know what you're thinking. How could I be against the harvesting of leather when I'm wearing this resplendent, ridiculous, and altogether scaly ensemble? Yes. How could I? What up, guys? So, um, today another unboxing, and obviously, why am I wearing this Bowser costume? Because we're going to be unboxing the Doom Ship. Um, yeah, I actually bought this at a crazy discount at GameStop a very long time ago. I want to say maybe like in January or so, they had, I think, a crazy sell. This was actually 50% off. Now, let me go ahead and get this thing out of the box. But in the, while I'm doing that, my goal, since I have never even taken this thing out because it is a Doom Ship, I have been slowly collecting Bowser and all the Koopa Kids. Now, I don't know if that's actually going to come to fruition, guys, because when I try to look up all the Koopa Kids, guess what? There is one that is extremely stupidly priced in the aftermarket. I uh, obviously got this out of the box. Let me just show you what's the box itself. There it is. Side. Okay. It says right here that actually store your figures. So you can actually open this thing up because you can see right there and put the figures. But let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. Um, see how it looks. So here is the box of the Doom Ship. And it's very misleading to say the less because i was expecting this thing to be way freaking bigger let's see so here's the top of it now that i'm seeing this thing in person yeah like all the freaking figures that i've been collecting for the doom ship it's yeah it's not gonna they're not gonna be able to fit there's just too many of them I didn't realize it was this small, but oh well. One piece, one piece. One piece reference? Yeah, one piece reference. Okay, in case you don't know guys, I got my cameraman, one of my cameramen, Matthew. Say what's up, Matthew? What's up? That's right. Uh, all right. So we got these pieces out, and obviously there's stuff in here. Uh. A big old Bowser head. Check that out. How does that compare? Hey. <laughs> and a little Mario figure right there. Take him out a little bit. Yeah, again, guys, I've been collecting all these little other Mario figures, the small ones, very small ones, in order to stack up the doom shit with all these enemies but what i am seeing oh there's propellers in here um yeah they are i want to make sure i'm not missing anything this thing is a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be so oh well it's kind of weird look at this this is a box but all the propellers are inside kind of weird but uh, you know what? Screw it. Let me just open it. It was taped together, but is this going to be a hassle to try to get them out from the inside the way they are? Let's see, this is what I was talking about. The propellers. There they are. Okay, that seems to be it. Oh, but speaking of which, guys, so the Koopa Kids. So with all the Mario figures, in case you don't know, they sell them in two scales. Uh, one, like a, just a larger scale. Wish I had some around me so I can show you an example, but I don't. Oh, well. Uh, very small scale and then the larger scale ones. So I've been collecting all the small scale figures and um, with, the in, with the intent of putting 
all these bad guys, all these villains, all these enemies from Mario on the freaking Doom ship. Pretty cool to collect, I'm not gonna lie. But the biggest issue was that one Koopa kid, Roy Koopa, or the way I grew up knowing him as Bully Koopa from the cartoon. In case you don't know, some people don't know, uh, I always question, why were the names of the Koopa kids in the cartoon different than what they were in the game? Well, the reason for that, after years of kind of just questioning why that was, was because the cartoon actually was done and prepared before the game was. So they had to come up with these names for all the Koopa kids that weren't actually their video game names. But that's neither here nor there. Let's see how I do this. I'm just unwrapping everything. Yeah, this thing is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. At the very least, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this thing. Because man, it, I mean, the box shows it was 40 bucks, so I paid 20. Yeah, had I gotten this thing for a full price, 40 bucks, and just seen how small it actually is, oh yeah, I would have been kind of mad about that. Let's see. And I think I saw somewhere that this thing may have stickers in it. Stickers might be here, yeah, see. I'm not going to be doing the stickers for the unboxing. I'll just do that actually for the actual full review of it. Again, guys, this is just an unboxing. Put this thing together, show you what it is. Kind of like a trailer, if you want to consider that. Uh, come on, Mario. All right. So there's the instructions, but let's see. It should look simple enough. So obviously we got this side, two sides of the ship. I think the head goes in first. Yeah, you're right. Good call. So let's slot this in. One, two, buckle the shoe. Huh. Does the neck actually turn or something? No, I had it crooked. It's my bad. Eh. Hold up. So, before I put this thing together, because I'm going to have to disassemble it later anyway, there's a battery port right there. So my understanding of this thing, thing actually um, plays music. Don't know if a battery is in there or not. I'm gonna assume it's not. But anyway, again, that'll be for the actual review. Uh, put it all together with the battery and whatnot. But let's just get this thing together. No worries, I'll just disassemble it. Seems pretty easy enough. Okay, the front is... Ooh, I just noticed something really cool. Uh, there we go. Check out that Bowser head. The eyes are whited out. That looks wicked, man. Real wicked. So, okay, and then here's the top. Obviously, this thing opens up to put all the figures in. Uh, oh, right here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the tail. Oh, great. Now I got to open it up again. So it's kind of like a little jigsaw puzzle in a way. Yeah, how do I open this thing again? It's a butterfly recording. Uh, 
So real quick, guys, gives me a second. As you can see, this back piece goes right here. Uh, give me a second because I'm having trouble opening this thing, but I'll be right back. All right, we opened it. Now let's put the little flat back here, the tail, line it up right. If I can. So since we were referencing one piece, what's the name of Luffy's sh Luffy, Luffy ship? The what? But before time's good, going there. All right, so. Huh, this kind of, it's like a flap, I guess. Don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but I mean, it's in there. It's secure. It's sealed. And then again, there's the port where you can put all the, your figures in there. But again, I was not realizing that this thing was as small as it was oh i got it now okay making sense so real quick it has these little clips right here to hold it down that's how you open it So I'm guessing this is where you turn it on, push it to hit the music. No music though. Oh well. All right, so we got these freaking propellers, little ones, and the spear or the head of it. So I'm guessing this goes like that. these right there right there right there and then, obviously I gotta seal this thing it's kind of like um you just push them in kind of just hold together I'll secure it more when I actually do the full review Propellers in the back. Oh, look at that. So when you move it, the tires, the propellers move. Pretty cool. So, and then finally the Mario figure, I guess, goes back here. And there it is. So yeah, guys, um, like I said, I'm not really pressed to secure everything right now because Obviously, I got to open that thing up, put batteries, so I'm not really worried about. But yeah, the propellers move, as you can see. But yeah, this Doom ship is way smaller than I expected. Um, yeah, there's so basically, like I was saying, this is probably the size of the actual all the Mar all the enemies and everybody. More so about this size, and obviously, Koopa Bowser. And then stacking all the damn Koopa kids everywhere. I don't know. Like, maybe we can pull it off. I don't know. But this thing is pretty small. Um, not as big as I was really thinking. I mean, look at this box. All right? Look at the box compared to the actual Doom ship. Yeah. There's a Bowser figure on there. Because you can see it. But yeah, I was like, wow. Like, I did not expect it to be this small. But 20 bucks, not going to complain. Pretty cool. But uh, stay tuned. I will be doing the review um, out of this Bowser outfit. But like I always say, guys, collect what makes you happy.